The oldest form of flying takes advantages of the properties of hot air, or as balloon pilot Dwight Kramer says. We put the hot air in and it, and it goes up. You know, we, there, there is math to it. There's always math and science to everything. That's my line, but he's right. Hot air balloons float by hot air alone. No hydrogen or helium here like other balloons that fly by gas. Understanding how it works and how much cargo and passengers takes both math and you guessed it, science. Dwight travels around the country taking passengers on both tethered and untethered flights in his balloon, which takes a while to set up safely. What we'll do uh, once I do a burner test here, make sure uh, number one, we have fuel. Number two, the burner operates correctly, no leaks. We'll, uh, we'll lay everything down. We stretch the envelope out and then we start up our inflation fan and that'll put out enough air to inflate the balloon with just regular outdoor air. And then I will light the burner, put the flame inside and that'll of course bring our balloon upright because that warm air wants to lift up. Hot air rises because it's lighter. You've probably heard us tell you about that before, but just how much? Room temperature air weighs around 28 grams per cubic foot, while warm air around 100 degrees weighs 7 grams less. That doesn't seem much, but it does add up, especially with a balloon, known as an envelope, this large, nearly 7 stories tall. By capturing it, the balloon and its cargo will rise according to the laws of buoyancy, as the air around the balloon is cooler and is therefore heavier. As long as the pilot keeps the hot air coming, the balloon will rise or keep gliding along until landing. I seriously respect White and other pilots as they know just about as much weather as meteorologists as hot air balloons are at the mercy of the wind, but they can steer by understanding meteorology on a micro scale. And the reality is we do have a lot of control uh, while we can't fly upwind or crosswind, we can change altitudes. So as we climb, we may get a right turn or a left turn. And uh, by going up or down, especially in the mornings, uh, low level drainage wind down the valleys, uh, that's that cool air that settles as, as the evening goes on. Uh, that cool air settles and flows down slope. So if we launch the balloon and we stay in the valley, we're gonna go the direction of the downhill, just like just like water flowing down a river. It's an art, you're really, uh, you're, you're really learning how the atmosphere works and you're learning how to work with it. You're not fighting it, you're, you're going with it. 